Uh, Jenna, is the madness yeah. really over now that the short squeezes seem to be gone? Right. There's a huge frenzy into the U.S. equity flocking um, from the retail investors in Korea as well as the institution. Do you think it will change the dynamics in the market? Um, in, in, in the course of the next three, six months, uh, we will continue to, to see more liquidity and more pumping into higher valuation. And there's a lot of speculation from the retail and institutional, as I mentioned. Um, not foreseeable change unless the rate hike starts happening, which won't come until the next uh, next half of the year. Uh, at, at least we're not sensing any changes uh, in our algorithm. Uh, Jenna, when you take a look at the markets today, you get a sense that some calm has returned. Are the gains sustainable? I mean, when you take a look at VIX, for instance, it remains elevated at about 25 right now. Right. Um, when you enter into this new phase, we're seeing early cycle. That's a, an inflection point from recovery. Whenever the, these things happen, you know, you're, you, you're bound to see volatility. There's always diverting views in the market um, simultaneously. You know, you see institutions who would like to think they're smart, uh, shorting some of, some of the overvalued stocks. But with retail investors taking a different contrarian views against the smart investors, you're seeing uh, the other side or extreme end view at that currently happening in the marketplace. Uh, in a way, it's a flat world where you see more divergence of opinions, especially when you're not um, tracking the, the real momentum yet. Like one, one way momentum will come, but for, for the time being, volatility will drive the market. I just want to follow up very quickly on that because you say that volatility is the biggest enemy this year. How do you how do you hedge against vol? Um, so we do factor neutral strategy. So whether that's industry or country, we want or the momentum issue, we are always looking at the vol uh, on top of some of these like in, innate uh, factors that are underneath the, the, the volatility factors on the surface level. Um, it's extremely important to balance your portfolio, looking at your different risk factors, go beyond the surface level volatility, that's my advice. You're focused on uh, Korea and the Korean investors. What are you seeing in terms of trends? Um, you're seeing uh, very concentrated bets onto um, U.S. stocks, U.S. equity, for the most part. Uh, more and more people are getting into passive ETF type of investment as well uh, because they're tired of this volatility. Uh, and retail investors are realizing um, to, to keep sane in this volatile market, uh, instead of being extremely active as they were last year, uh, they're opening up their arms to passive investing to balance out their portfolio a little bit. 